Well, y'all, welcome back to Calvin's Corner to see me too. Canteen Cup Tuesday. That's right. My second Canteen Cup Tuesday I've ever did. It ain't just going to be a Canteen Cup this time. We're going to have a little bit of everything. I'm going to be doing some cooking right here in the uh, good old rocket stove. I'm going to use my little jet, jet bull stove with my Canteen Cup to make some uh, coffee. And uh, got a little bit of mail call right here. And uh, y'all be sure to watch the whole video. You'll be glad you did. I'm going to open up uh, some Christmas letters that I just got in the mail. I appreciate y'all sending them to me. I didn't send out any Christmas uh, cards. I did like last year or the year before. And I don't know how many I sent out. I sent out a lot. <laughs> but I tell you what, man, y'all pack is just real good. <laughs> this comes from Valerie Reese. Oh, she sent me two of them or something. Two cards. Okay, one minute here. Wishing you a joyous holiday season and a very happy and peaceful new year. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Steve and Val. Yep, right there. There's the card. Check it out. That's nice. Steve and Val, I appreciate it. And there she is. Y'all check her out. I'll put her link down below for sure. She does vlogging. And uh, sometimes they do cooking and just uh, odding in things around. They're always traveling and doing a lot of stuff. So if you're into that, check her out. And if you like her, subscribe to her and tell her Old Calvin's Corner 72 sent you. Um, another shout out. Thanks, Papa Texas, for this letter opener. Now, I've got another one here. What'd you say? Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft? Well, even the rooster knows who it's from. He always acts up when I start doing this video. Wow. Winter wishes. Appreciate it, Richard. It says, May your holiday season be filled with wonderful moments to remember. Enjoy the outdoors, even if it's in your own backyard. Thanks. Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. That's nice. I appreciate it. every one of y'all to send me these Christmas cards. Um, I'll be getting y'all Christmas card back out to you. It's probably going to be after Christmas. There's not much I can do about that. It's just a little too late, I believe. But I hope everyone has a, a very Merry Christmas. And I appreciate y'all coming by Calvin's Corner 72. Now, and my chair is going to fall. Don't laugh. You quit laughing. I'm going to have you for supper on this over here. All right, I got another milk call, and this one's, well... I've been waiting on this in a while, and I, I'm, I'm really happy to get it. Really happy to get it, guys. This one come all the way from uh, Wisconsin. And, uh, I know who sent it to me. I've done pre-opened it. Yes, I did. And uh, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Uh, I want y'all to see the goodness. Look at this goodness. Y'all see that? Can y'all tell what's in that bag? That's chaga. And I cannot wait to try this. I've never tried chaga. I've never made it. We're going to do some up right here. It's going to take a while. But through the power of YouTube, we can make it happen. But uh, I can't wait to try this. Um, and I'll tell you who sent me this. And I'm very... Very happy to get it. Super excited. He's he's got an awesome channel. Oh, and uh, Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, y'all. If you like bushcraft, if you like uh, outdoorsy stuff, go check him out too. I'll, I'll put his link down below. I didn't mean to skip that. It says Calvin, look how professional. Look at this. Hope this package finds you and yours well in good health. It does. Sorry it took so long. To get it out to you it's fine man 
Here's a little sample of the Great Northern Wisconsin Chaga for you to give a try. I hope you enjoy it. Boy, I do too. I heard it's really good for you. It's supposed to be really good for you. You know, it's got medicinal purposes. Most of y'all know this already, but it's got a lot of minerals and stuff in it, and it's a mushroom that grows on trees. Um, I thought about beech trees, I'm thinking. Uh, no, uh, I'll put it down below if I can remember what it is, what kind of tree it is. But uh, Anyways, he says, here's how you make it. You get about a quart of water to boil. Then you place a couple or two or three of the one inch cubes, one to two inch pieces, over or several small chunks into a pot. Lower the temperature so it's very low and slow simmer. So I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'm going to drop it to a simmer. Okay? Oh, and then uh, let it simmer two to four hours. So this is going to take a while, but y'all are not going to have to wait that long. And uh, add the water as needed to keep it about a quart or so full to the pot. And then run it. Run it through the filter. So I've got a coffee filter over here. And, um, yeah. Run it through the filter. He, he, he puts this in a the thermos and, uh, and he reheats it as he uses it up over a couple days. Now, you save the chunks because, see, the chunks, he says, it, it makes three to four batches out of each one. So save them and you can put them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer in between your runs as far as you're using them. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then when you get done with them, let them dry out, and you can use them for tinder to start fires. So that's really cool. Yeah, I suppose you should do a video on that, style. You did a great video. Guys, if you like bushcrafting, he does, he's got some older videos. He's, Sty's been around a long time. And I guess I should tell you his name. Sty North. <laughs> Sty North is awesome. I always get him and Kirk North, 51, mixed up. But I'll tell you what. The guys are awesome. Uh, he does sty stories, and everybody likes sty stories. If you hadn't heard of a sty story, well, you need to go check him out and uh, tell him Calvin's Corner 72 sent you. You will like him. He tells some great stories. And right now, he's got a series started where he's um, he's actually uh, taking requests and ideals on what kind of stories you would like to hear. And I was honored by him choosing my suggestion as this very first one of this new series. And uh, I asked him if he could tell us a story about it, where he had, uh, of course, I'll have his link down below, but where he had uh, made his first kill. And what he said was cool. It wasn't just, I was thinking deer in my mind, you know. But what he did, he went back to his very first kill. He was like nine-year-old, seven-year-old, and uh, he killed a squirrel. So I kind of let the the squirrel out the bag on that one, but uh, you need to go check it out and listen to the story, how he, how he did it and what he used to kill it with. I won't tell him that. So, uh, y'all, y'all enjoy that. I, I believe you will. I enjoyed it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. He said he don't sell the chaga, but he shares when he can. And I know it's really hard to come by. And, uh, AOK Forging and Adventures, I'm sending you some of this chaga. Because I told you if I get some, I'm going to send some to you. So I'm going to send you enough for you and Brenda to make a couple of cups with it and try it out. Because like you, I've never tried it. And uh, Sty, I really appreciate it. Hats off to you, brother. I appreciate it, man. This is awesome. It's going to be great. All right, let me get this stove started because I'm going to do some uh, deer loin, some onions, and then we're going to cook some, some eggs, some good old eggs. Well, I'm going to cook your can over there. That's right, by God. I'm going to eat them. Right in front of them. <laughs> and I'm going to do a little bit of Cafe Bustelo while I'm waiting on the other coffee to, um, to heat up. So, uh, y'all stick around. I think it's going to be a good show. Appreciate you coming back. Calvin's Corner saved me too. Thank you, Dark Matter, for this more that my dog got a hold of and chewed up. But I still love it.
going to be using some of these camp made fire starter fuel cubes to get this rocket stove going y'all want some camp made stuff i'm gonna put bill gowdy's link down below because you can get 20 percent off if you put gowdy 20 in and uh you can get one of these awesome hats like i'm wearing today too i really love it y'all need to check them out i don't know if i've ever tried this cafe bustello now they don't pay me but i'd sure take a payment from them i love this stuff Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now don't get confused. I'm still gonna make my chaga. I just want some Cafe Bustelo right now. As you see, this smoky out here because it's extremely cold today. It's like 38 degrees, and that's cold for the south. Oh man, this is good. It's cold out here, y'all. <laughs> While this is starting to simmer, I'm gonna put some chaga in it, and then we'll get my fire started over here. I'd kind of be glad to get that thing started. I'm going to use them fire starter fuel cubes. And I'm going to use some good old Maine gold I got from Alex. Liberty Rogue Outdoors. Thanks, Alex. It's going to come in handy, buddy. Got to get me some kindling thrown in there. It's going to be good. Man, my, my nose is freezing, guys. Mmm. Let's get going. All right, y'all. Water's getting pretty warm. We're going to put some of this chog in there. I just wanted y'all to see this up close. Let's see if I can get this thing to fall. Look at that. Look at the crystals. Isn't that cool how that looks? It's a mushroom. Now, I've seen AK Driller do this, and I've seen, you know, he sent some down to, uh, handy camper and I sent him to make some but like I say it's gonna be my first try there she goes about four hours two to four hours we should have some well guys believe it or not I got her lit finally as you can see the black smoke I got some fat wood in there It'll burn off, and then I'll have some hot coals. I wanted to show you this chaga, though. Oh, it looks like coffee already. I'm going to say another 30 minutes, and that'll be ready. All right, guys. For the ones of you that made it this far into the video... Congratulations, thank you. I'm going to be having a secret giveaway, but I need some help from y'all. You see, DIY Dark Matter, I'm going to be using your video, and I will have his video linked down below. He doesn't have a giveaway, I'm having a giveaway, but I'm going to use his video, sort of the guinea pig. Here's what I want y'all to do. Dark Matter did a Dutch oven video the other day. He cooked some beans, okay? And every time he said, all right, I want you to count them. I want you to count how many times he says, all right. I'm kind of poking fun at him and aggravating him a little bit, but at the same time, you'll have to watch the video from the front to back. And count how many times he says all right. I already know how many. I'll put my email link right down here below. I'll put it in there below and, and y'all email me your answer. And the ones that get it right, I'm going to have a secret drawing. What you get, I think you'll really like. Now you got to be 18 or older. 
because there might be some kind of thing in there that you have to be 18 or older to get. So if you, and uh, I'll even ship it. I'll even ship it to Canada. We'll be shipping you some tea, right? So y'all go check that video out. I'll put the link down below. Send me an email. And good luck to all y'all. Appreciate y'all sticking around. Now, I'd like to give a couple shout outs. A couple three shout outs. Okay, Manland121. I'm giving you a big shout out, buddy. I appreciate you doing a uh, big shout out for me on your last video. You did a little Dutch oven on your little bitty Dutch oven. That was pretty cool. Uh, Bone Jar, you did the same thing. Because Manland gave you a little Dutch oven and you give me a shout out on it. I think y'all was kind of poking fun at my Dutch oven because uh, y'all's was smaller or something. There's not all, there's not that many times when somebody gets happy about theirs being smaller. But they do. They get excited about it. Jamie Slate Music, buddy, you've been giving me shout outs for the last six months. I don't know. I tell you. Y'all got to go check them out. All these guys' links I'll have down below. Jamie Slate, Music, or sometimes he's referred to as Jules. He um, he does some awesome videos. He, he, he On his, uh, he digs up the art archaeologist. He, do, he digs up artists that are up and coming. And I was, I was in one of his videos, believe it or not, because I've been doing some karaoke singing and stuff. And I'm not... You know, you don't have to be a musician. You can just be a singer. And uh, I was flattered that he entered me in and chose me. So I appreciate that, man. Thanks, Jamie. Another channel I would like to give a shout out to is Rough Cut Homestead. That's one of the newest channels and probably one of my favorite newest channels. It is Duke. Y'all know him as Worm Getter. Um... I'll have his link down below. Y'all need to really check him out. I'm telling you, that guy, he's a homesteader and he teaches you all these different ways. And you can learn a lot from him. Even if you're not a homesteader, you can learn how to save money and, and do things and fix things around your house. The guy is amazing. It's amazing. So, uh, y'all go check him out and tell him Calvin's Corner 72 sent you. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, one more. Kirk North of 51, he's having a youth giveaway. I'll put the link down below. He wants you to get outdoors with your youth. It doesn't matter if you're playing basketball, if you're swimming or whatever, just get outdoor. And I think it's uh, till mid-February, but don't don't quote me on that. Um, he's wanting to have a giveaway, and he contacted me personally through email, and uh, he wanted me to be a supporter of this, and I am definitely going to be a supporter of it. So I'll have that video link down below. Y'all go check it out and get involved. Now, if you drop a comment, you'll get one entry. But if you do a VR, which is a, a video response of you and your sibling, your, your, your children, your grandkids, whatever, outdoors doing something, taking a walk in the park, who cares? It's very important. He has given away a lot, of, I mean, a lot of gifts. And if it's that important to him, and there's no telling what's going to cost him. He's in Canada, guys, and he's going to be shipping all over the United States, wherever. And I think you have to be 18 or older to get it because uh, some of the stuff he may be sh shipping out. But uh, don't quote me on that either. But guys, I'm going to support him all the way, and I will be doing a VR, Kirk. I appreciate you uh, watching my channel keeping up with me. I, I, it's a lot of fun, you know, and... I'm glad y'all watching me. And uh, now go check these channels out. Um, it takes a little time to put links down below, but I think it's important. It's important to give back to the community, even if it's just a shout out. So Bones, Manland 121, Jamie Slate Music, uh, Duke over at Rough Cut uh, Homestead, and these are my these are my mind right here, my brain, y'all. And uh, Kirk North of 51. All right, Canteen Cup Tuesday is continuing. And it won't be much longer and I'll be ready to try this chog out for the first time. They said it tastes like a little bit like a vanilla taste. So I got some vanilla creamer and a little bit of diabetic sugar. <laughs> uh, 
no, nah, I'm just going to, I'm going ahead and use, I'm going to use uh, some honey this time. I ain't supposed to have a lot of honey, but I'm going to try it this time. Because, Stein North, he said he, uh, he puts honey in his. So I'm going to try it without anything first, and then I'm going to put some honey in it and try it. And then I'm going to put a little vanilla, sugar-free vanilla, uh, International Delight, flavoring in it, creamer, and uh, try it like that and see what it tastes like. I done went through my Cafe Bustello. It's gone. Fixing to do a little deer to one cooking. Hey, and one more shout out. Check this out. I almost forgot. Do y'all remember this? I don't know if y'all do or not, but old Chevy 4x4 wheel. 2017. He went up to Lodge. And this it's a National Cornbread Festival. And uh, he bought me this and gifted it to me. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. This is really cool. And I use it all the time, and we're gonna be using it today. Cook up some deer loin and some scrambled eggs. Y'all stick around. All right, y'all, let's put a little peanut oil in here. Oh yeah, won't be long, that'll be ready. Throw some onions in here. Big juicy piece of tenderloin. Gonna put some uh, garlic, pepper, and seasoning on it. Look at the goodness. Oh yeah, baby. Okay guys, well that's uh, frying up over there. I wanted to show you. I'm gonna be using this little device. I think they're like $2 at the Walmart. What you can do is they fold up. I always put it in my my little kit, my cook set. And uh, it folds up and goes right in there. So what you do is you set this Normally, you set this on top of your coffee pot or your cup. You put you a filter in it, which it takes a number two filter, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to have to improvise and run it through here. And it comes out the little filters and comes out in your cup. So, uh, Tell you what, guys, it's really hard to beat these uh, these rocket stoves. Don't take very much fuel. Before you know it, your breakfast is done. Let's plate it up. Holy moly! Peanut oil, onions. Holy moly. Guys, that looks good. Check it out. And of course, y'all, no breakfast is complete without Texas Pete. And I like the, the hotter hot sauce kind. It's a little bit a little bit more strong. Oh yeah. Put a little over here too. I tell you guys, wish y'all could join me. I 
I do. I wish y'all could join me down here on the corner. Get some of this good old venison. Mmm. Some them fresh eggs. Yeah, y'all's kids over here, they, they taste pretty good. Keep cackling. I like it. Every time you cackle, it means uh, we're probably getting some more eggs. Guys, that's awesome. I can taste that cast iron. That's good. And these onions, you talking about making me sleep. Heat fried onions. Mmm. Oh, they're so good. The way I cooked them, they're kind of hard and crunchy. They're like hash browns, but no carbs. Mmm. Getting a little ash fall back, but it's all right. Good minerals. Oh my god. That tenderloin, oh my gosh. That tenderloin, oh my gosh. I don't know what else to say, but I'm about ready to try some chaga out. Mm. Let's get it going, guys. This has been going now for about an hour and a half. And I've not got quite a quart. I just had like one bottle full. And this stuff is black as coal. Y'all see it when I pour it. Like Stye said, I can reuse these chaga pieces. Because I've only did one round with them. I'll put them in a Ziploc bag and reuse them. Now let's filter this out. I'm not going to filter it all. I'm just going to get enough to make a cup of coffee. Chocolate coffee. Wow, that goes there pretty quick. It filters out really good. Listen, I'm going to set this down because I'm scared I'm going to spill it on me. And it is awful hot. That's good enough. Man, that's super black. Can y'all see that? I mean, it don't get no blacker than that. It's like cold, man. Look at that. Well, I said I'm going to try it first without anything. So here goes nothing. Hmm. I'll tell you the truth, it tastes like water like hot water. Might be because I eat all that. It's very clean. That's amazing. I didn't think it would be like that. <clears throat> I'm going to use some of my, my favorite. is orange blossom honey, guys. This is going to take a minute. Look how it's cold out here, y'all. <laughs> All right. That'll give it a bit of sweetness right there. Without a doubt. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going to run my sugar up. But, guys, I don't never. You know, I've been cutting way back. And most of y'all know I got type 2 diabetes, and I've been cutting way back on everything. And I even eat a biscuit the other day, believe it or not. First time I'd eat a biscuit in six months, probably. At least four months. And, um, 
it wasn't even a good homemade kind. It was just one of them flaky layers. But let me tell you, it didn't even run my sugar up. It's like a 110. You know, that's about normal. So I'm going to try it now with a little bit of honey in it. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah, I'm getting the vanilla flavor now. That's right. This is good, y'all. Y'all got to try this chow dye. I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, sugar-free vanilla flavor in here. It's going to be just like a cup of coffee. Like you get down to Starbucks, but this is a Bush Bucks coffee. Oh, yeah. This is my Canteen Cup Tuesday, guys. I hope y'all like this. I've enjoyed it. Mmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, that is good. Tack, you got something to look forward to. I'm telling you, this is good. Look how dark that is and rich. Can y'all really see that? Look at that. Man, stuff's good. Sty, I appreciate it, brother. Hey, I'd love to have this out in the, in the woods. If I was out in the woods and I found that stuff, and they, it, it, it doesn't grow around here, but I tell you what, I'd make a good cup of coffee in a hurry. I tell you what, golly, y'all. Mm. I didn't know it was that good. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm on. I love it. Y'all come back and see me. This is Captain's Corner Semi Two. This has been my Canteen Cup Tuesday. I hope it wasn't too long for y'all. And if you didn't watch all the video and you skipped to the end, you might want to rewind. Y'all get on back over here where the getting's good. Captain's Corner Semi Two. Drop me a like and a comment down below. Y'all come back and see me.